Hi everyone. Good evening. So already this video is starting out to be a little bit different than my usual. I'm still filming on my iPhone because I don't have my charger yet. I'll have my charger in about two weeks. I know I could just buy one, but I just know that it's coming. So I'm kind of trying to wait until I get it so I can charge my batteries. But anyways, yes, I don't actually mind the iPhone at all. The quality is actually pretty good and you probably wouldn't be able to tell unless I told you. And surprisingly, the sound is also not bad. So anyways, for this video, I wanted to actually tell you the story of the yellow dress. And today, which is Wednesday the 28th, this is when my video is coming out. And I also have an NFT collection coming out at the same time. And the promo video, it's all about, the whole collection is about why the yellow dress. And the promo video is actually what I'm going to share with you because it shows you what a collection looks like and like how we create for it. But then it also tells you the entire story from start to finish of how the yellow dress came to be and why the yellow dress is fairly important moving forward for my journey. So I hope that there's some interest in this. I hope that you guys enjoy it. It's about an eight minute long video. And yeah, I had a lot of fun actually putting it together. It took me quite some time to do this whole collection and the NFT world is going really well. It's a lot of work. If you want to learn more about it, please just let me know and I will continue in some videos to talk about it. I do want to say that next week is going to be a fall colors location video in the Rockies. I don't know, something like that. We're not quite yet at full peak color, which is why I'm holding off about another week for this video. But very, very soon we will be in full blow in yellows and oranges and all those beautiful colors here in the Rockies. So without further ado, please enjoy this little promo video and let me know what you guys think in the comments. Why do I wear this dress? This is a question I am asked almost daily. My name is Sarah Lindsay and I am an artist and a photographer and this is the story behind my latest collection, You Had Me at Yellow. This is the portion of my life that I like to call tunnel vision. Not everybody knows that I am a professional landscape photographer by trade. I actually grew my entire photography career based on landscape photography. And the reasons my, that my self portraits look the way that they do is because of the skill that I have built up in this genre. So during these years, I again, I like to refer to them as my tunnel vision years because that is all that I was doing. I was constantly out there creating. And my main goal, I wasn't very sure where I was taking photography. I just wanted to get better. I wanted to be a better landscape photographer. I would study things like composition, light, different techniques, and I was constantly outside practicing. I was very fortunate where I lived before. I actually lived along a lake. So my backyard was nature and I just had endless landscapes to practice on. My main focus was purely on the camera and I was often ignoring all my other responsibilities just to get out and go create. I would trade nothing about these years because I believe that these years of obsession and constantly being out there really shaped and helped develop what my style is today. Very, very early on in my photography career with landscape photography, I became obsessed with the long exposure te technique, which is using a 10 stop ND filter. And basically what that is, is like a pair of sunglasses for your camera that helps slow down the shutter speed so you can get effects in the water and in the clouds where they look like they're moving. So I adopted that so early on and still to this day, I photograph with the exact same filter that I had from 10 years ago. In 2019, this is where I started to head down the path, what I like to call rock bottom. It was also the time where I started my self-portrait journey. And how that began was one night I was headed out to go photograph my local landscape lake. I lived right on this lake, so again, it was my backyard. And for some reason, I just felt this urge. I needed to do something different. I wanted to try something new and I really, really wanted to see what it would look like if I put a person in my landscape scenes that I photograph. I didn't have enough time to get a model or even call a friend to come and help, so I decided I'm gonna just use myself. I grabbed a dress out of my closet, which was a white one, and I set off to the lake and I went out to create, which was, I consider, the start and where the birth of my self-portrait journey began. 
wasn't fully prepared for what else was going to happen during these years. This is where my past and my childhood and how I grew up all came out and it reared its ugly head and slowly started ripping apart my life. There are things about these years that I regret for the cup pain that I caused people, but I do not regret ever meeting the bottom and meeting that floor because it needed to happen and there was things inside of me that needed to change and I don't know what else would have brought upon that change other than falling apart. I remember December 2020, I was laying in bed with my dog. This was, I was living in a camper at this time because I had lost my house and I ended up on my own and I needed to be alone. I really, really needed this time. But I remember one night I was just laying in bed and just face to face with everything that I had caused and I didn't want to be here anymore. I really wanted to just escape and leave the world. But I looked beside me and I have a dog, his name is Ollie and he's been with me for many, many years. But I remember looking at him and just thinking, well, who's going to take care of him? I cannot do this to him. How could I do this to him? And it was in that moment that I decided, okay, something is wrong. Something is not right with me right now and I need to get help. So the next day I called my doctor, I called my therapist and I began the journey of self-development and just coming face to face with the decisions that I had made and I decided I needed to turn a new leaf. For some reason, something just clicked and I just became aware that my actions were not really serving me very well so I could carry on doing what I was doing and it was obviously going to drive my life more into the ground. Or I could listen to people who are a lot more wise than I am and seek out help and seek out the proper relationships and start making choices that benefited my life for the future and for everybody around me. While all of this was happening, I was full force creating self-portraits. And I don't think I realized it at the time, but I can look back now and see this connection of these self-portraits with this rock bottom time of my life. And they truly connect with each other. I can look at each one and I remember exactly how I was feeling, but I still had creation and I still had my skills and I still had my love for photography. So I was still always out there creating but behind these images are just stories of a lot of despair and lost hope and trying to understand who I was and many, many tears. You Had Me at Yellow is the chapter where everything started to turn around and this is where the yellow dress has now since become of everything that I am. Yellow is the face of everything that is happy and cheerful and positive and optimistic. It means hope. It just means everything that is happy. I wasn't naturally born this way. I, I had a lot of things that I had to work through to get to this point. And I do believe choosing this dress was also me choosing the decision to be happy, to work towards happiness, but it all had to come within and it's a choice. It is not something that you just wake up and you naturally feel. Ever since I made the decision to clean up my life and just get everything together, the yellow dress has become more dominant than ever before. And I can see myself, I can see the transformation of myself of the person that I am becoming. The yellow dress is just everything that I want to be. My photography career, I have been very fortunate to have built a presence on social media where people look up to me and I'm also educating and I want to be a good role model and I want to show women what is very possible that they can follow their dreams if they're in a bad situation they can get out of it and most importantly I want to show everyone that the true path to change and making your life better happens within yourself and it's all about self-awareness. Though the yellow dress represents everything that is just positive and cheerful and just such a lovely color to look at, it still doesn't mean that I don't face dragons today. I believe our dragons ever go away. I believe it's our responsibility to face them and make those changes ourselves, no matter how bad it gets. And when you do decide to seek a better path, your life just gets better. Every day, it just gets better and better and better. Thank you so, 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 so much for viewing my heart and my passion.